You know, there are studies now that people are now more isolated and feel more lonely and alone than ever before in history. It's interesting. I was at an Islamic school in, a, in a, another Muslim country, and I was talking to a number of boys and girls. There were about 300, 400 boys, 300, 400 girls, 13, 14 years of age. And I gave a lecture, and the principal and the teachers, everybody was there. So they had a question-answer session, and nobody asked a question. 800 children in the room, nobody asked a question. And I said, they're not asking a question because the police is watching them. The teachers are there, the principal is there, the cameraman is there. They don't want to get in trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the crowd and talk to these kids with no camera, no microphone. I just want to talk to them. I went inside the girls' section, just talking to these young girls, two hours. They couldn't stop asking their questions. And on the other side, the boys, another two hours, they couldn't stop asking their questions. And the most common question was, what do you do if you feel alone all the time? What do you feel, what do you do if you feel invisible, if nobody sees you? Human beings have such a deep desire to be madhkur that a teenager sees all their other friends online and they're like, I'm, I don't have an online account. I don't, I don't have that many followers. I'm not being seen. I'm not madhkur. I better take another picture. No, I better change the filters. I better do something else. I better change the background or the light wasn't good enough and then post it. Ah, somebody will put a heart emoji. Somebody will put a thumbs up. I'm madhkur. Ha, ah, I can exist now. And if you don't post it, if you don't post your next slice of pizza, if you don't post your, you know, where you're standing, what park you're in or some wisdom from Abu Jahl or something, if you don't post that, then all of a sudden nobody knows you exist, so you become غير مذكور for the vast majority of the existence of the universe and for the vast majority of the existence of humanity you were غير مذكور and there's a time that's coming pretty soon where you and I are going to be in the grave and some people will remember us and they will cry over us and then time will pass and we will be غير مذكور again we, we remember famous people Right? We remember scholars, for example, in Islamic history. We remember people like Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah or Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah. But they had a big family. Nobody remembers their family. A lot of those people are invisible to us now. We don't remember the rulers. We don't remember the millionaires and the billionaires. We don't remember the good-looking people. We don't remember the popular people, the famous people. We don't remember the art. We don't remember them. They're gone. They became irrelevant again. And Allah is teaching you and me, you're running after this thing to be relevant, to be remembered, to be talked about, to, be, to have users engage with you. This is what you want all the time. But you were created for the most part, غير مذكور, and you will be غير مذكور again. You're going to go back to that irrelevance again. That's a pretty depressing outlook. That nobody's going to remember me. Nobody's going to know. And by